Hey guys, it's Ben from Board to Bits, and this is a quick introduction to a new series where we're going to be creating a point and click adventure game. Before I started diving into Unity and the coding behind all this, I wanted to give you a sense of what to expect from this project. First off, this is going to be a first person point and click game in the style of Myst or the um, mobile series The Room. So instead of seeing an avatar in a scene like when you would in like Monkey Island or the Deconia series, we're going to be seeing through our character's eyes, which makes the experience more immersive. Second, unlike the original Myst games, which used a series of kind of still images um, with some video footage interspersed, we're actually going to be building a 3D environment that our character and our camera is going to explore and move around inside of. Uh, third, Though we, we're going to have this 3D environment, we're not going to use like a first-person controller where the player can just walk around freely. Instead, we're going to be using a network of um, hotspots, or I'm going to be calling them nodes, that will move the camera from place to place. This is a little bit more restrictive for the player, but it also lets us really curate the experience for the player um, to get you know the exact shot we want, or so that they're you know, able to see the scene that we want them to see. We can still give them some freedom because we do have the whole 3D rendered environment, so if we want them to move the mouse to look around, they're able to do that. But it's just a little bit, like I say, more of a curated and controlled experience. Lastly, this series is really going to be focusing on the mechanics and the scripting versus um, like asset building and building custom 3D models and stuff. So really, we're going to be focusing on how you would build the structure of this game using Unity's components and functions, and we're just going to be using 3D primitives that Unity gives us, along with some basic materials. We're not going to really get into like making this look like a really fancy game so much as just, you know, there's going to be some blocks around that we can click and we can look at and we can move to. So some of the elements that we're, um, some of the skills we'll be building in Unity as we work on this project are going to include colliders and triggers, um, basic materials, lighting, uh, creating a network of objects both in Unity as well as creating the um, network to talk to each other in C-sharp, uh, downloading and implementing an asset from the asset store, and a little bit of work with delegates, but it's just going to be a very kind of cursory look at that, not getting too deep into like delegates and events and all that. So if this sounds interesting to you, I encourage you guys to subscribe and um, keep an eye out for future videos on this. They'll be coming out over the next co course of the next week or so. And uh, hopefully we can get a cool game started with this. Thanks, and I'll see you guys later.